Hello everyone and welcome to another ball review. This one is for the Storm Matchup Pearl. It occurred to me that uh, with the Matchup Hybrid coming out in about a month, I never purchased or reviewed the Solid or the Pearl and felt like the Hybrid would be best compared to one of them. My layout is 65 by 4.5 by 40 and there's nothing too crazy going on with the ball specs. The cover is Reactor Pearl. The core is the Stinger 2.0 core, so it's based off the Stinger core in the original matches. The 2.0 has an RG of 257 with a differential of 035 compared to the original core at 255 and 030. So a bit higher RG and differential, which means a little less rolly, a little more flare, basically meaning longer and stronger. Right away, the first thing I notice is that the ball gives me instant direct feedback on the quality of the shot. If I throw it good, it reacts accordingly, and if my execution is questionable, uh, it also tells me all about that too. So. I also notice with that with the higher RG, the ball seems to lope more or be a little bit more cover dominant. This could be a good or a bad thing depending on your game and the conditions. On one side, it's not going to start revving and just take off. It's more prone to get to the spot and just sit there. But on the other side, most of the time, it doesn't feel like it gets into enough of a roll to be super consistent or readable at the break point. It's kind of muddy. Mine's really smooth for a pearl. Most of them I've seen have been longer and fairly angular, so I was expecting more shape out of it. What I get of the matchup Pearl is something really smooth and slow on friction. You'll see here that I have the best luck playing second or third arrow with not much belly or not a lot of angle. The positive as far as shape goes is the same as the negative. There's not much of it. It's strong enough that it looks like it's chewing and going to hook, but it makes it down the lane and sets right into the pocket. At the same time, once the lane started to burn a little and I was forced left, I ran into some problems. It would either read the track burn too strong or just not make the corner, and transition is kind of the situation you would typically want a weaker pearl with a weaker core for. A few boards further left would get my no rolls pearl down the lane and it'd make a strong move back to the pocket. Likewise, with the high road pearl, just a bit inside of the friction would get it down the lane and it would still make the move back up the hill. However, what a ball is supposed to do should really have no bearing on what it actually does. Uh, what this ball actually does is control the pocket really well from straighter angles. With the shiny surface, it's not going to chew the track up, and with that smooth transition on the friction, it's something I believe you could stay right with for a very long time. Now, the strength of my game is getting in and feeding it right, but I felt about as comfortable as I can get playing right of third arrow with this ball. The hit at the pocket's also very good because it doesn't jerk when it hits the friction. The energy it doesn't burn hooking is transferred into the pins. I don't think I left more than one or two 10 pins with it. Now I had plenty of four pins and plenty of two pins. But if I was around the pocket, I got tapped less than usual, so my carry percentage on pocket hits was noticeably high. I feel like the best use for this ball is going to be a regular league shot on the drier side of medium, but it might even come into play on shorter sport patterns. Probably have to knock the polish off for that, though. Um, I'm going to debut my new rating system here for the explanation on that. Please visit the video. I have linked in the description if you haven't seen it already. But as far as value goes, I'm going to stay at even. I think you're getting exactly what you pay for here. For design intent, it gets a plus two. It's a true light to medium oil ball. You're going to get what they say you're going to get. It just doesn't get the third point because it's not quite the shape you'd expect. For hook, I'm giving it a plus one. It's a little bit more aggressive than the, match, the original match Pearl was, but not by much. The shot shape is smooth. It hooks throughout the lane. It's just nice and even. Most of, most of you will probably see more shape than I did, but this is what I'm seeing out of mine. Finally, for versatility, also staying even there too, this ball does exactly what you make it do. I don't think it's going to bail you out of bad shots, but it's not going to get you, it's not going to go out of its way to get you in any trouble either. So my final composite rating for the matchup Pearl is plus three. It's not a ball I think you should run right out and buy if you don't have it, but it should be a consideration if you're looking for a lighter oil ball. The key factor being that it meets the design intent, or at least gets really close as far as hook goes, just missing a bit for me with the shape. The rating breakdown is available down in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.